can't I think right now? Why? Why does my brain not seem to work right? I always feel like I can't think straight and I make up these, when people ask me questions, I never get the answer right or I just stand there like a dummy and not answer because my brain is just not working right. Have you been there? I bet you have. Because brain fog is something that a lot of us women actually suffer from more than you actually think, okay? And I'm not saying there are ways that you can, you know, cure it completely because I still get my kids' names wrong when I'm like, you know, running through all the names, Riley, Courtney, Phoebe, Sky, you know, running through all the names because I keep getting them mixed up. But there are actually things that you can actually do to reduce brain fog. And we're going to run a few of, th a few of these things right now. It's so funny, I'm getting tongue tied in a brain video. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Belinda, and I'm very excited and passionate about helping people get better sleep, get better energy, okay? Recover from autoimmune problems and thyroid issues and hormonal imbalances, okay? For an extremely personal reason. And I have created videos on this in the past, so feel free to scroll down and have a look at those. But brain fog is something that I've actually suffered from myself a lot, okay? And I used to have sleeping problems, which caused brain fog, obviously, okay? I used to have so much going on and I couldn't live in the moment because, you know, you just have this continuous chatter, 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 chatter in your brain. And you literally can't think when you have that going on. You know, you're thinking about what you need to get done for the day and you're thinking about what the kids need to do that day and you're thinking about what you need to organize for your partner that day and you're thinking about what you need to do next week and you're thinking about all the business stuff that you have to do and what you have to do at work and what you have to get ready for school and there's just so much going on and you just go crazy, right? <laughs> and that can actually affect your thinking as well, okay? But here are some things on a physiological level, okay, not caused by, you know, lack of sleep or overthinking or anxiety or all of those that can actually hinder how your brain is functioning, okay? So I'm going to give you three, three things that you can do or three things that you can stop doing, okay, to help you battle brain fog, okay? So the first one is avoiding sugars, yeah, avoiding sugars, okay? And that includes hidden sugars as well. That includes uh, sugars from gluten, okay? Because all of these sugars don't help the brain function well. Then our brain starts using glucose for energy and functioning rather than ketones, okay? And that can be a big problem. That makes us feel sluggish. And I know I am not perfect when it comes to sugar either because half the time I'll happily buy chocolate. Yes, it's good quality dark chocolate. I've moved over from the normal milk chocolate which is contains a crap load of sugar and no nutrients. But you can actually switch over to a better chocolate or a better ice cream, or a better soft drink, or a better whatever your favorite sugar thing is. I don't expect people to give up completely because we live in the real world, right? So switch it out for something that is going to be healthy for you, okay? Switch it, don't ditch it, okay? So that's my first thing, is avoiding sugars. You can avoid them completely, or you can simply just reduce them buy a fair bit and see what actually happens. See how you feel, okay? See how your brain function changes. Next, number two, is increasing healthy fats for good brain function. Now, when I'm talking healthy fats, I'm talking fat from animal tissue, okay? So that's your eggs, that's your butter, that's your ghee, that's uh, your good quality meats, so from lamb and um, pork and, and beef liver and those sort of things, and good quality healthy fats, okay? And this will actually help your brain use ketones for energy rather than glucose for energy, and your brain will function better. You'll be able to think clearer, okay? Number three, <clears throat> tip number three, 
is add a magnesium, okay? Particularly if you want good brain function, the one that I would look at is magnesium threonate because this actually crosses the blood brain, blood brain barrier and can help you with better connectivity because you're going to create better synapses, better communication in the brain. They're going to make new neurons and have better communication in the brain. And this is a magnesium that your brain will actually love. Okay, make sure you get a good quality one without all the fillers and the terrible things that really should not be in supplements. But they're the three things that I would do if you are suffering from brain fog Okay, and not being able to think clearly is one, avoiding sugars to the best of your ability. You can switch it out for a better one if you can't avoid it completely. That's okay. You're human. I'm human. Number two is increasing your healthy fats. Just wait, sweetie. Increasing your healthy fats. Fat is an acronym from animal tissue. Okay, so think butter, think eggs, think ghee, uh, think good quality pork, good quality lamb, uh, these sort of things, okay? Increasing your healthy fats. And number three is consider introducing a good quality magnesium. Now I have done magnesium videos before on which ones to avoid. I recommend looking down uh, and you, or you can put it into the search bar, which ones to avoid and check out which ones you should have. But magnesium three nate, right off the bat is a good one for brain function. If that's what you're looking for, there are better ones for energy and there are better ones for sleep and um, good nervous system functions. But that one in particular is good for the brain. Now, anyway, if you're watching live, let us know live. And if you're catching this on the replay, then let us know replay. And if you know someone that this video can help, then why not consider sharing it with them so we can help more people? Anyway, you have an awesome day and I'll see you at this time tomorrow.